Sima, we won't, we won't win that way. It's not going to work. See, in terms of the Alienation of Land Act, we have to show, or we have to, both parties have to give their consent. So that's the real issue then. If that was not the problem, we would sail through this case. If, if we could just show that she had no capacity to contract, then we could apply for a power of attorney over her affairs. Did I hear a fair? Hmm. Reminds me of the affair Dina and I had. Now that was an affair to remember. Seema, would you mind waiting outside while I throttle the switch? Now, now, Eve, is that the way for a lawyer to behave? What if I were your client? I would make damn sure that you were put in prison. What do you want here? Um, well, I was in the neighborhood. Just popped by to do the gym, do the spa, buy some lingerie, pick up my Victoria's Secrets, and uh, visited the florist. Asked him to deliver a special gift to a special friend, Dina. What? Oh, relax. Just some flowers and chocolates, you know? Just to say thank you for rescuing me last night. Listen, you slut. I don't know what you're up to, but I can assure you. Oh, I'd love to stay and shoot the breeze with you, but I have places to go to, men to see, families to break. You know what I mean. Tell me. You. Come inside, come, come. Nice weather today, eh? Yeah, it's okay. I just came to say thank you so much for letting Dina help my baby last night. No problem, Ayo. What are neighbors for? The way Crystal was so shaken up, the way she was crying, Oh, your shame. The car is badly damaged. Oh, don't even ask. Oh, what don't ask? I already asked. You'd rather tell. That bloody taxi fella, he came so close to her, he scratched her bumper and went away. Oh, you for true. Yeah, it appears Dina came there and the way he took off with that taxi fella, that taxi fella got so frightened, got into his taxi and just drove off. Hey, you know, this Dina and Crystal should have rather got married, eh? I don't know why they broke off, man. Yeah, your son, that. He's the one wanna go study. That's why they broke off. Why are you blaming my son now? Your daughter wanted to go overseas. Ayoruku, why are you talking like that? The child only wanted to go for a working holiday. Hey, never mind all that. We can sit and argue and argue. It won't take us any way. That fella's mind is already made up. Hey, Ruku, I'm going shop. Do you want anything? Why are you going shop? How? I'm asking one thing and you're asking something else. Yeah, I want to know what you're going to shop for at this part of the time. To buy cigarettes out. Then why are you dressed like this? You... not going to meet your girlfriend or something? Oh, what day today? Thursday. Oh yeah, I'm going to meet the white girl in a flat with a bikini on. Hey. So stupid you. Right, I'll go, go. Make some lovely soya prawn chutney. When I come back, I'll have a lucky chow. Hey, go you, man. Why are you getting so upset, doll? Rukumani, Rukumani, Akapako, Yenasado, Eden.
Sukuma, see, when I do the honeymoon dance, Ruku will never be angry with me again. Ruku, go make the chow now quickly. Hey, go away from your man. Rukumani, Rukumani, Akapako, Yanazado, in the Pako, and Point of Ara, in the Pako, and Point of Ara. I'll see you then. Okay, bye, so Okay. Tina, I was at front desk and these were delivered for you. For me? It's not my birthday or anything. Who's it from? Secret admirer, maybe? <laughs> no, no. It's from my neighbor, Crystal. She was in a little incident last night. You mean accident? No, no, no. I mean incident. Um, you see, what happened was that she was talking on a cell phone and she didn't realize that her car was rolling backwards. And before she knew it, she rolled into a taxi behind her. Oh, any damage? Not really. Um, there was a small scratch on the bumper. And by the time I got there, the taxi driver was insisting on repairing her car, like it was his fault or something. I couldn't convince him otherwise. Eventually, I told him, OK. And as soon as he turned his back to get his papers from the car, I got out of there as fast as I could. You should be careful of those O's. I know what you mean. It's my first chance I got, I hightailed it out of there. Sorry, just give me a second. Africa Communications, good morning, Dina speaking. Dina! Hi, babe. We need to talk. Again? Your bloody ex-girlfriend is up to something. Do you know what she did? She came to our office in a mini skirt. How dare she? And then she thanked me for letting you go help her last night. And don't you think you're off the hook, my boy, for just running off last night and leaving me. Do you know, it was so nice how you were saying, No, you're going to always stay with me and give me all the attention. And then, when Crystal Schmistel has a problem, you just forget and you run and go. Hello, Natasha. Hello. Why you didn't come for breakfast this morning? Sorry, I overslept. Oh, you don't have to be sorry, but we were just worried about you. So you're from Durban, eh? Mm-hmm. Nice place, that. We're from there, too. Eleven years now we're here. I still got family that side, my sisters and all. Your family's still there? Well, my parents are late. And my sisters moved away to Australia with her husband. Oh, so they left you all alone of you. Shame. How you managed? That's why you came with this side, Joburg side. Well, actually, that's a long story. Oh, never mind. I like long stories. Well, about 10 years ago, I got married into this family and made the biggest mistake of my life. After I got divorced, I lost custody of my child. And I had no place to stay. My mother-in-law just made my life more and more miserable. Just because I wanted to take my child back. They did so many nasty things to me. That's when I realized I had to get far away from that family as possible. So I decided to leave Durban and move to Joburg. Oh, shame, huh? Your mother-in-law was so terrible. My mother-in-law, too, used to give me a hard time. But you know, all mother-in-laws are not like that. You know, my sister from Durban, she, a daughter-in-law, was so terrible. I know my sister. She's such a lovely person. She won't arm one fly. This girl, she was one Hindi thing, too. Only used to drink, drink and stay. Oh, well, I'm Hindi too. No, not meaning anything bad. Just saying for a word. Oh, for a word. Yeah, but you're a nice girl. Oh, you're not like that. <laughs> you know I got another son. No, I didn't know that. Where is he? He's in the UK. 
is working of their company sent him. I got a daughter too. Very lovely girl. She's in university. Well behaved. Don't smoke. Dress very decently. Don't even wear makeup. She's staying with her friend. Thank you. That's a wrap. Ugh, I need to get out of here. Anyways, thank you very much. Thank you. It's been nice working with you. Hey, Danny! Where have you been? Hey, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. What are you doing here? You're going black standing in the sun. I'm looking over there. What's there? There! Prawns chutney before? No, not really. I tasted the real thing, but not the soya version. Oh, it's better than the real one. It is very, very tasty. Mommy, see what Bratton came. Hello, Mommy. How are you, Mommy? Hello, hello. Where you was lost all this time? I never get lost. I forgot where you're staying. You all moved your house again. <laughs> Who is this? You don't know me. You know why you don't know me. Because that's be meeting me. <laughs> Am I right there? Tell her mom. <laughs> Don't worry. Anything you need fixed, you ask me. Danny, in Bernardin, Yogeshvara. DIY for short. DIY my name and DIY my game. <laughs> hey, Danny, so nice to the game. I'm telling you. Good afternoon, Dina speaking. Dina? Look, I know we didn't end off our conversation on a good note the last time. So, I thought I'd call you and give you one last chance, you know, to apologize to me. But babes, like I told you, I can't be responsible for what Crystal does. Dina! It's not about what Crystal did, it's about what you did. But babes, listen to me. I think that you should just... Are you raising your voice at me? No. I'm not raising my voice at you, my boom boom. All I'm saying is that... Okay. Okay, look, Dina. We can go on arguing. And I know, you'll never admit you're wrong. You're much like your mother that way. Anyways, I want to come to your house tonight. And I want us to talk about our wedding. Our wedding? Yeah. Do you have a problem with that? No. Bye.
your brother just phone now apparently kale wants to come home now to make wedding plans really this should be interesting hey this is serious what you're making one joke who are you phoning now wait ma i just want to change some plans i think i'll have supper here tonight i don't want to be around for all these wedding plans Hey Sirika. Many crystal. Hello, how are you? Feeling much better, thank you. Is Amma here? Amma, no. She was here in the morning, then she left. Oh, because she told me to come home early. She wanted to take me to the temple to see my chart. Your chart? Yeah, you know, open book by the priest. Amma thinks with all these things happening to me, there must be something fishy somewhere, like bad eyes. Oh, I see. But bye, bye, Auntie Rukmini. Ma, why don't you make some tea and bring it to the lounge for us? We'd rather get this thing over with before we eat tonight. Kale is anxious to get this over with. Hey. You just got home now. Why don't you all go and relax for a little while? Ma, you know how Kale is. She wants to get this done with as soon as possible, and I don't want any trouble tonight. Okay, okay. Tea or coffee? Um, I'll have tea. No, wait. Make it coffee. No, no. Definitely tea. Definitely tea. No, no. Make it coffee. Okay. Bring both and come. Five sugars in each cup. Sweetie. Mommy's going to make some tea and coffee for us. Then we can talk some serious business. Does it look like I'm going anyway? I'm waiting. Dad? Dad? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Come, Dad. We have something really important to talk about in the lounge. Dad! Is your father going to be okay? I mean, is he going to know what, what we're going to talk about? Don't worry about him, babe. I'm sure he'll be fine. He normally gets his way after he takes his medication in the evenings. All right, leave all that now. Let's see what you have to say. Well, I'll put this as simple as possible so that your brain can understand it. I think it's time that Dina and I got married. gathering excuse me sorry I didn't mean to disturb uh, I just wanted to say I'm going out so please don't wait up for me hey you're a big woman you don't have to ask for permission just go but Kale don't y'all think you're rushing into this you're so young we're not that young yeah, but you must enjoy life first, you know what I'm saying? Oh, then I've got some other news for you all. I'm 
pregnant. Whoa, Anna. Thank you. Thanks. I'm so sorry I'm late. I'm just glad you got here. You pregnant? For true? Hey, she's pregnant. Uh, oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, what is wrong with you? She is pregnant. They are not even married yet. Get up and shout at this fellow. Dina, what's wrong, my boy? Dina, teach you about protection. So now, do you think we're still too young to get married? Yeah, maybe we should wait for like another two years till after the baby's born. Hello, hello, how are you? We just came from seeing Temple, Uncle. Yeah, Amma took me to go open book, Dina. Oh, you all went to open book? Ayo, where he got book? I went there, that book got buttons and one TV screen. It's a laptop, Mummy. He opened a laptop for y'all? Hmm. He said I'm very prone to accidents and I must do the nine Saturday prayer. But he also said that someone who was in my life before will come back to take care of me. Oh, I hope I'm not disturbing. Actually, we were just discussing the wedding plans. What? Really, Rukmani? <laughs> That's not the only thing. Hey, keep quiet. Big people talking, you mustn't open your mouth. Oh, please. I'm out of here. But you're so young. Why like that, Rukmani? What's so young? They must get married quick. I was 18 when I got married. Hello? Ranganan and Padachi, eh? Who's speaking? Wait, I'll bring some tea for you, Crystal. Come, Sukma. I think I need something stronger than that. I'll bring coffee, Ma. Much stronger than that. Aren't you going to congratulate us on our wedding? I need some fresh air. You are up to something, my girl. Auntie Rukmani would never have agreed to this wedding, ever. Now, why would you say something like that? Because she wanted Dina and I to get married. Well, I have my charms. Look. I don't know what you are up to, but let me tell you something. I am going to be the one marrying Dina. Is that a challenge? No, sweetheart. It's a promise. <laughs>